Um, hello everyone, uh, thank you for watching this video. So, on today's video I'll be doing question 2 of November 2022 question paper, physical science paper 1. So, uh, I'm not going to write the entire statement that goes with this question on this small sheet of paper, on this small whiteboard of mine, because I don't have too much space. But what I will do is, as I'm reading this question, I will show it to you so that you can also stop the video or pause the video and read the statement yourself so that you can understand it to, to the, 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 so that you can understand it better. So I'm not going to write it here, but I'm going to read the statement. I'm going to explain things so that you can understand what I'm doing here. So this, as I said, this question paper is from Physical Sciences, paper one, November 2020. So this is question two, and I'm going to read the statement, explain it, and go forward. So let's get started. So this is question two. <clears throat> so here, what is what they're saying, question two. A 20 kg block resting on a rough horizontal surface is connected to blocks P and Q by a light inextensible string over a move, uh, string moving over a frictionless pulley. So this 20 kg block is attached on, a, on this block P and Q. So P and Q, uh, yeah, on this block P and Q uh, by a light inextensible string, which means this string of ours doesn't stretch, it still it maintains the same length, and the pulley is frictionless, which is there's no friction there, which will add into slowing the motion of this of this system so 20 kg block attached to these blocks p and q by a, a light inextensible string which means does not extend over a frictionless pulley so there's no friction that is happening there so there's no friction there so let's continue blocks p and q are glued together by a are glued together so these two are glued together using, these were two blocks but now they are they were glued together using a glue or whatever that is sticking them together and have a mass have a combined mass m so both p and q when after they were glued their mass their combined mass was m so they are saying a force of 35 newtons is applied on the 20 kg block at an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal as shown below. So what they are saying, this block of ours is pulled by a force of 35 degrees or oh, 35 newtons. And this force of ours is makes an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal. So as you can see, this is the horizontal, which means now the angle between the force and the horizontal is 40 degrees. That's what they are saying. So this force is pulled, or this uh, force that is applied here at this 20 kg block is at an angle, which is, it is pulled at an angle, not pulled horizontally or vertical to the surface, but at an angle to the surface. That is what they are saying. Also, the 20 kg block experiences a frictional force of magnitude 5 newtons as it moves to the right at a constant speed. So here is what is happening. They are saying this block is experiencing a frictional force of 5 newtons. So this block is experiencing a frictional force, this arrow, so frictional, for, frictional force, this arrow indicates that this force is a vector. So vectors they have this arrow on top. So this block um, experience a frictional force of 5 neutrons. So, this is on the top 20 kg block. So, they are saying that the 20 kg block experiences a frictional force of 5 neutrons as it moves to the right at a constant speed. It moves to the right at a constant speed. So, as much as it is pulled this side, the, top, the system is moving to the right directions in that direction.
So this is pulled in that direction. Oh, it's pulled in that direction, but still going to the side. So the frictional force is experienced by this is to the right. No, is to the left. Because if this system, this block is moving to that side, the frictional force opposes the motion and is going backwards. So which means that this and this guy is going down. This is going to the right, and the frictional force is going to the other side. So, let's go to the first question. Now, 2.1. So, this is 2.1. First question. They are saying, define the normal force. So, they want us to define the normal force. So, what is the normal force? So, I will not write it down here, but I will explain what it is for you and define it to you so that you know what it is. So, a normal force is the force that is exerted by the surface on an object. And that force is perpendicular to the surface. For example, I'm standing here in front of you. So, I'm on the surface. And I'm standing vertically on the surface. So the surface is exerting a force that is vertically upwards, perpendicular to the surface. So in this case, we have this block here. For example, the force here is, let's say you have a surface here, and you place an object here. So the surface exerts a force on this, on this object, and that force is perpendicular to the surface, which means it forms the 90 degree, which means it's vertical on a horizontal surface. So if your surface was like this, and you have an object here, the, for, the normal force it would be the force that the surface exerting or pushing on this object, and it's perpendicular, which means it will be in this direction. So 90 degrees. So if it's in this direction, the object is here, the normal force here is the surface. Surface, surface, surface. So here's the object. The force will be like that. This will be your normal force. All of them will be your normal force. So what I'm saying is the normal force is the force exerted by the surface, which is it is applied by the surface on an object, which is placed on the surface. And that force is perpendicular or it is orthogonal to the surface, which means the force exerted by the surface will always be 90 degrees to the surface. That's what this is. So that's how you define it. You're saying a frictional force, or a normal force is a force exerted by the surface on an object, and that force is always perpendicular to the surface. So the surface does not, will not exert a force that is not perpendicular to it. So they will always form 90 degrees. So this is it for question 2.1. So now we move to question 